Cool. So my name is Nicholas Cole and I'm going to be presenting to you guys about green food or how changing your diet and cutting out meat can help save the environment. So we all know about this huge global crisis, all these deadlines by 2025, if we don't do anything, the ice caps are going to melt. If we don't disinvest in the industry, we're all going to, that stuff's going to happen. We've seen all the charts about CO2 emissions, about temperature, and we've seen all the news headlines of these huge catastrophes that are caused by global warming. And so it leaves us thinking, what can we do to help? And that's why a lot of us are here in this class here, trying to bring change in our community. But there's, we're bombarded with other solutions like energy efficient appliances and disinvesting in coal and oil. And I'm gonna be presenting about the meat industry because that's a huge factor of all that. So looking at the meat industry, it can be defined as a commercial system that includes raising, slaughtering, and transporting meat from farm to fork. And there's a huge emphasis on not treating these animals as set in it like actual beings, but just treating them as something to make money off of and the supply to just move along. So some problems with the meat industry is that twice the world's population could be fed with today's global harvest if we did not feed farmers farmed animals, but rather consume the yield ourselves. So looking ahead to this population of 11 billion, we're like, how are we gonna feed all those people? Well, we could do it if we just ate all the veggies. And another environmental problem is livestock production accounts for more direct greenhouse gases than all of transportation combined. And that includes trains, planes, ships, cars, anything that goes broom, greenhouse gases are produced more from livestock. And nutritionally, because we care about ourselves along with the environment, processed meat, which is pretty much anything like ham, frankfurters, hot dogs, bacon, anything you look at and you're like, I'm not really sure what that is. Those are classified as a class one carcinogen by the World Health Organization, which another class one is cigarettes. So you don't smoke cigarettes, but you eat processed meat. And ethically, dairy cows are constantly forced into pregnancy and only make it to about five years old. And a dairy cow usually healthily can live to about 20 to 25 years. So that's not too great either. And along with chickens as well, they're bred to grow six times their normal size and end up just dying pretty early because their legs either break or they get weird internal diseases. So you hear all this and you're like, heck yeah, meat industry, disgusting, meat, disgusting. I'm gonna be vegan, I'm never gonna eat meat again. You walk out, you're walking through the sub, you see Chick-fil-A and you're like, I'm down. That sounds <laughs> really good, I want a chicken sandwich. And so I ran into the same problem. Literally, right after finishing this presentation, I got a Supreme pizza, the sausage and bacon and all that stuff because I wanted it. So you ask yourself, oh, revamp a little bit. If you are vegan, you can save 1,000. Really? <laughs> yeah. I'm okay. well, you Make some your stuff. closing statement. You save some stuff, you eat, don't eat meat. Weekday vegetarian, vegetarian weekdays, weekend, do what you want because it's hard to hold a schedule, benefits you. Questions, comments, happy cow. <laughs> <laughs>